So the next one, your TB or Thymus yeah. and Beta. Okay. Yeah. yeah or- so Thymus and Beta 4. I love Thymus and Beta 4. I think it's such a great peptide. I don't think the fragments work as good. So, you know, when we first started using it, we had Thymus and Beta 4, which for anybody who thinks that TB500 is the same thing as Thymus and Beta 4, it's not the same thing. TB500 is a fragment. And to be fair, I've been dyslexic. So let me let me think if I don't really use TB. The 500, it, yeah, you already said it. It's the fragment. It's I yeah. think about it like melanotan and PT141. Yes. They Great go example. into TB4 and they sliced out the, the 500 and they're trying to isolate its healing ability. Yes. So it's not. Yeah. TB4 is the larger molecule. Is a larger molecule. Yeah. And so, is- yeah, you've got, you've got TB500 is a fragment of that. You've also got another one that is labeled as an oral. It's called TB4 frag. It's a, a four amino acid variant. There's one cat study that says it's orally available and there's nothing else. And so I don't, I don't trust that it's orally available. Now people online say they get responses to it and that's great. It, To me, it's just not enough evidence to start doing it. And plus, thymus and beta-4 works so great. And so, you know, I just, I I use that predominantly. And there was a period of about, oh, geez, two and a half years. Because when we lost HCG, we also lost thymus and beta-4. Because thymus and beta-4 got classified into the biologics like HCG did back in whatever year that was, 21. I feel like it was before. I could be wrong. I was thinking it was before. Oh, it could be. It could have been before COVID. We just got it back about a, oh geez, nine months, six, nine months ago. And so we used TB500 for the longest time during that. And, and we didn't really, I mean, I kind of stopped using it because it just wasn't, it is nowhere near as good as thymus and beta four. 